15. Give me your scales. No, not happening. All right, uh, let's watch a video that I want to watch the 4 camera 40k one because it's starting to get kind of good. I'll say that. It's starting to be interesting. I will say that nothing will beat Ogryn so far for me <laughs> and the Dragon Boys <laughs> because anyone that worships me is okay in my book. And Auburn seem like sweet boys. But Russian Badger and all these other like 40Ks, they seem to really like this, uh, what's it called? Badger's from Russia? Huh? Oh, because his name is Russian Badger. Okay. <laughs> Property, so let's do this. Did he just... Did he just beat a guy's face in with a riot shield? For the Emperor! Welcome to the grim darkness of the future, where fun isn't allowed, happiness is banned, peace doesn't exist, and there's only war. Abandon reason! Well, I, I was told that this is basically this. No, no that was a door. door that was a door? I don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> them, us being the Imperium of Man, led by the Almighty Emperor himself. There is no shelter for those who oppose the Imperium of Man. And them being anybody that isn't us. For the sake of simplicity, we'll just call them Xenos. Xenos. And what's the only thing defending us from them, you might ask? Space Marines. Get off the ship, Space Marines! Space Marines! Space Marines! <laughs> Genetically modified, just like the vegetables at the grocery store. Like, I understand they're genetically modified, but why are you showing the tomato town guy? Or only instead of staying ripe for long periods of time, they're crafted by the emperor to purge heretics. Yeah, die! We're talking to... So, I I've already, like... I have a feeling that space, this new Space Ring game coming out might be uh all the people that left hell divers answer because i'll be honest hell divers have never meant to be the power power fantasy you're supposed to feel like you're powerful but you're supposed to also feel like you're fighting against insurmounting odds Whereas this game, from what I understand, you're gonna feel like a badass no matter what. Two hearts. We're talking three lungs. We're talking night vision. We're talking eight foot tall, 800 pound monsters that look like Hulk Hogan ate Boogie 2988 and covered himself in a steel suit of armor the size of a Range Rover. We are the bringers of death. Think of them as religion fueled death machines. Why does it feel like every time I see the red ones, they found a uh, very uh cr crazy and then the blue ones always seem like they're being quiet and just looking around <laughs> are the red ones the loud the, the loud child machines hell-bent on exterminating any race that isn't human while also not being racist racist space marines aren't racist we love all races as long as they don't have green skin Eat false gun or you know belong to a different religion ah! i don't know why anyone would call us racist i'm a black priest for emperor's sake Even God. like he's missing the point but also what do you mean you're a priest <laughs> you don't look like a priest we don't hate any races except orcs and eldar and dark eldar and necros and tau because I feel like after the third and you can't say you, we don't hate all race. Nobody likes dumbass weeaboo space communists, but at least they are trying to eat us like the Tyranids. Glossing over all that. I mean, I feel like a, a race that deserved hate would be the Tyranids. Because from what I understand, they're, they just eat everybody. Lore that you don't need to understand. One such chapter of Space Marine. What's he mean, lore you don't need to understand? I feel like I enjoy... I feel like I've grown some appreciation for this 
particular uh, world from its lore. It's the, ultra it's the other like thing with like League. What Riot doesn't understand is it got this big because of its lore. Don't forget your lore, because your lore sometimes is the reason you're as big as you are. Her, if we're being honest, Ultra Smurfs that are charged with Truth be told, peace is impossible between every are... faction. The Tower Imperium is the only likelihood, but that one is complicated. Okay. For stealing your shit. Clever of the damn dogs. How important is this shit that they're stealing, you might ask? Strategic value, absolute. So, I'm, I'm guessing that's pretty important then? Strate I feel like they would say strategic, strategic value was absolute to a cardboard box. Strategic value, absolute. That doesn't make things any clearer for the audience. Strategic value, absolute. You occupy the role of Captain Titus. A I feel like that that entire segment right there proved my point. A junior officer, voiced by the legendary Mark Strong, that's joined by an OG sergeant and a turbo nerd subordinate named Leandros, that constantly hounds you about not following a dipshit rulebook called a codex. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Shut the fuck up, Leandros. For the Emperor! To be perfectly clear, I beat the entire- My man doesn't have an arm. ...game once in its default state and had so much of a blast, I'm playing as a calm and collected Crypt Marine. I played as a blood marine, which, if I'm being honest, was a slightly different experience. Nice no Understandable, have a nice day. So if you're about to write this video off as heresy or confusing, I understand. I just grew up playing an RTS called Dawn of War and would rather play as a blood raven than an ultramarine smurf blueberry. None of this is really important unless they're purging and also spoiler alert and transitions are weird. The orcs invading your planet and trying to steal your huge ass titan tank are a super diverse bunch, ranging from puny little orc children that shouldn't even exist. Hey, get back here. Don't run away from me. Why do you even exist? Why? Yeah, man. Yeah! All the way up to the orc war boss Grimskull himself, who was basically Shrek in his final form. You try to steal my titans? Steal my loot? I'll rip your guts right out of your throat! <laughs> Equally as diverse are the weapons at your disposal to eradicate them with, from a dinky bolter pistol all the way to a heavy bolter, because when it comes to orcs, the caliber you're firing can never be too high. I'm gonna need a heavy bolter for this heresy. The quickest way to purge through scores of orcs? Melee. Getting up close and personal is not only the fact. I feel like that would be a bad idea. From what I understand of, well, from what I understand of orcs, why would you want to get closer to them? What if they believe that they're immune to swords? What if they like all suddenly believe that they are immortal in melee combat? <laughs> what if you miss one slash? They're like, I can't be hit by swords. And, and like a lot of other um, other of them see it and they're like we can't be hit by swords and you know like that starts happening that's the way to cut through a horde of orcs with single double and triple hit combos but believe it or not it's how space marines heal yeah that's right these guys are so draconian they don't need to pick up health kits because the enemies are the health kits <laughs> Just crump some poor orc, mash your stun key until an orange skull pops up and execute his ass for a speedy and convenient health boost. Die, heretics! Yum. Your melee weapon of choice is a trade-off. Did he have to say yum? Why yum? Yum doesn't feel very, uh... Grimdart. Shouldn't he say, uh... Divide or uh, quite delicious or mm, need salt. Between speed and damage, like the chain sword is agile and great for cutting things, while you're also simultaneously already cutting things, but it's less potent against heavy armor. I am cutting things even though I was already cutting things. On the other hand, or rather with both hands, the thunder hammer handles as awkwardly as a bus, but it also hits like a bus, running a stop sign in a school zone. Hey yo, Orc, are you Elon Musk? I'm about to send your ass into outer space. And you've got a power. 
How early was this mod? <laughs> in between those two extremes and I can't explain why but it feels like you're competing in a figure skating slash rhythmic gymnastics competition when you use it the space marine doing the Carmaro is on dance it was not something I knew I needed but I like it and I'm oddly okay with that <laughs> If you want to get Yum. busy, you can melee three times and mash stun to curb stun multiple enemies and choke slam any motherfucker still standing. So it's safe to say that when it comes to this move, the Emperor most definitely does approve. I said, save so I think I stunned too hard. I'm stuck in the terrain. Brother. Brother, I am stuck in the terrain. Where's Captain Diomedes when you need him? Brother. Brother! Brother, I am pinned here! Eventually! Is that him using a voice changer? Is that the character? Because <laughs> if the game's that intuitive to know when you're stuck and starts making your character say, Brother, I am stuck, that might actually be kind of funny. You'll realize you can't just slice your way through the game. Asking for a scale <laughs> since it be cake day. Piece of shit Where's my piece of cake? That noise cannot defeat me. And you'll need to start firing guns if you want to survive. Or more specifically, bolters. Bolters, brothers! If you call this thing an assault rifle, I'm gonna break your arms. Because it may be used like an assault rifle, only instead of firing a 223 the size of a crayon or a 308 the size of your finger, it fires a 998, which should actually be a 75 cal according to the lore. That's essentially like firing a self-propelled can of Red Bull that explodes. I like how my image of Warhammer is specifically your KD. Well, happy birthday, Selena. No scale though. I'll give you a song if you want. After penetrating I think I can do one or two songs today. Target, making it almost into an assault rifle RPG hybrid. How many fucking robots does this place have? Are we invading on Imperium Outposts or Amazon headquarters? I should have never canceled my prime. You have downward variants and upward. This is definitely him using like a voice changer or something and like putting it over the play the gameplay. Variants like the bolter pistol in case you've got something heavy in your hands and my personal favorite the stalker bolter Which is the most satisfying sniper rifle. I've ever had the privilege of using just like Sesame Russian Street badger The only bolter. man in the world who would rob 35 banks with nothing but a comically large spoon and then proceed to use said money from said robberies to make comically large golden spoons to give to every other bank robber Why would you rob a bank with a comically large golden spoon? I feel like that, like... Builds your surprise factor, I feel? Because they see the giant gold spoon and they're like, oh, they're here to rob us. If you absolutely, positively have to expend as many rounds as possible, the Storm Bolter does exist, which is like a double... Rate of fire on the Storm Bolter? Perfection. Storm Bolter. Eh, just put him anywhere that's remotely close to a target. I don't really give a shit. But better alternatives do exist because the game gives you. That's definitely him over dubbing. Because there's no way their characters are saying that. Four slots consisting of a primary, secondary, long range, and. Fuck, 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 you're way too fuck. I kept the standard bolter and stalker bolter throughout most of the game because sometimes one bolter just isn't enough to stop a horde of orcs trying to crump your ass into outer space. I'm gonna need two bolters for this heresy. But once I started fighting the forces of chaos, I dropped the stalker for the Laz Cannon or Laz Cannon. AKA the Space Marine Spartan Laser that was clearly superior because here's me killing a Chaos Marine with a bolter. Thank the Emperor. I was starting to think he was invincible there for a second. And here's me doing the same deed with a Laz Cannon slash Laz Cannon. 
by the Emperor that's powerful. For your heavy slot, it's all about the... <laughs> I love the entity. <laughs> if nothing else, I love the entity. Like, the video the, the itself could be terrible, and I would still enjoy this editing, but it's nice that both are amazing. The Vengeance Launcher, which fires sticky nades that you can personally detonate, because who wants to launch rockets when you can launch Vengeance? A Vengeance Launcher. That sounds promising. Even a flame-bursting shotgun exists, but all of these specialized weapons rip through ammo at an incredible pace, so honing your bolter skills is the way to go. Burn them in flame! Burn in holy fire! Navigating the levels is obviously done by either running or rolling. Don't ask me how the hell these characters roll in this much armor. Well, like, that, that was my first thought, is like, how the heck are you rolling in that armor? I don't care how strong you are. It, it doesn't look shaped for rolling. It looks shaped for blasting into a wall. Long story, but channeling your inner Dark Souls character to kite enemies or get to objectives faster is a significant portion of your playthrough. It's even useful in boss fights because who needs to kill orcs when you can just roll out of the way and have orcs kill themselves? Here he comes! Here he comes! Here he comes! Oh, baby! How does it Pretty sure the rocket pack assists with dodge rolling. No, that's not how that works. Housey looking dudes called squigs that explode on impact and are arguably better at killing orcs than you are. So this theme of orcs killing themselves is not a new phenomenon. I'm starting to think the only reason the orcs are one of the strongest factions is they're, they're like humans, but like three times worse when it comes to... I have, for lack of better word, breeding. <laughs> Propagation. It feels like orcs are the, uh... What's the race called from StarCraft? I can't remember. But it feels like it's... They're basically the swarm. They just swarm everywhere. Like, they didn't need the power to, like... Make... Their wild fantasies reality, but... Pack that on for good measure. Get in there. I said one of. I didn't say the top ones. I said one of the top ones. Get in the and the reason I think they're one of the top ones is, from what I understand, they've like gone through entire world, like galaxies. Mm. Like the only reason they don't aren't the strongest is because they're idiots and they're all also constantly fighting themselves. But as I was saying, you won't always be running or rolling through the terrain because eventually you'll gain access to a jump pack, which when combined with a thunder hammer is like an NBA dunk contest mixed with Super Smash Brothers. Outside of LeBron, five seconds left. LeBron leaps. Oh my. My man is going all in on this editing, and I love it. LeBron James with a complete disregard for orc life. This jump pack also happens to be wonderful at getting you places in record time. It's almost like using unbridled rage as a mode of transportation. I fucking love my community. And now that you know what you're swinging, shooting, and zooming around. What? What was the point of that statement? <laughs> Okay, it's like I fucking love my community. Down with, there's one thing that enhances everything, and that's called fury. If being a space marine wasn't already super soldier enough, you can channel fury, which builds up as you purge heretics and well. Deliver merciless justice upon the enemies of humanity. That means your health surges. That means you hit harder. That means you turn 30 seconds of hacking and slashing into a 10 second nightmare for any enemies in your general vicinity, punctuated with curb stomps that are extra earth trembling. Oh, that never gets old. This fury becomes more and more powerful as the game goes on, and there's even a marksman mode. So if you ever wanted to enter a slow motion bullet time mode as a badass space marine, here's your shot. It feels it feels like Space Marines took all the nice, like, gimmicks from all the other gun games and beat em up games and power fantasy games, and it was like, sure, why not? <laughs> I 
I think that they are showing the old one. Yeah, this is an old video, but it's it's really good. Basically, there's. I think Waka wanted me to watch this to and get an idea for the new the game, game that I love more than the which they think I'm gonna get 3,000 followers. I'm pretty sure every objective in the game this century. Is three words or four words, and that's the way it should be. Those guardsmen cannot survive that long. We find a way to destroy the god. So you may be able to criticize some stretches of the game for being just running and rolling between elevators. Hey look, I'm on a lift. Does anybody know if repeatedly rolling or sprinting is faster? I've been at this 200 years, I still don't know. Hey look, a lift. But it focuses on what it's good at, which is violent purging and eradicating any life form that doesn't look like you. Ah, stop resisting! I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I would say sorry for hitting you so hard that the game glitched, but I don't apologize to Xenos. See, see, see that, see that right, right, the right there. That's definitely can... editing. Uh, for, for a while, I think everyone in the, ch the comment section is gonna laugh at me, but for a while, I was convinced that the, the game was saying this stuff. <laughs> but it's like one of those few moments, like that comment right there where I was, I'm like, I mean, there's no way the game is that intuitive. <laughs> There's no way that it knows when it glitched and it comments on that. Five to six hours to beat, and the best character is Orc Warboss Grimskull because he's the only character that. Critical. From what I understand, and I thought of this when I first started playing Helldivers, I was like, well, that's why I thought they needed to nerf the real cannon. Helldivers is supposed to be space troopers. You're not supposed to be the strongest thing. You're supposed to kind of struggle in places. That's the reason why I was okay with a few of the nerfs. But then they just kept nerfing stuff. And I think they kind of lost their own focus. So I have this 500k bomb. Oh, I miss mean uh, run. Huh? Where, oh gosh, 30% of the community is using a fire shotgun on the books. Must be meta. Let's nerf it. No! <laughs> It's just because it's a fire shotgun. You made a good weapon that's flashy and nice. Yeah, and you've nerfed every other weapon. So of course, maybe a higher percentage are using a, a weapon they think is working for them. But I bet you anything, about 20% of those people were just like, fire shotgun, go. <laughs> they didn't care. But I think you need to stop nerfing for a while because I think you're fine now. I mean, I think I actually think you need to nerf the fire shotgun back up. I mean, buff it back up. And maybe leave some of these weapons to, like, simmer. I think you're nerfing far too quickly. Yes, space, space troopers are supposed to have a hard time. But they're not supposed to be entirely, like, helpless. Never in the show are they entirely helpless. I don't like a lick or anything, chat. Buckus? Bucka? But yeah. Put me to sleep with her monologue. And yeah, the, the, the whole power fantasy idea will definitely come from the new space screens. Like, from what I understand of it. And its universe, it's definitely what people are actually thinking Helldivers was. Helldivers is a little hurt by their devs constantly nerfing things. They need to pull back on the nerfing. Because it feels like they're too trigger happy with the nerfs. Like, the second any weapon gets above a 10% prey rate, it's nerfed, which makes no sense. And the smaller your community is, the higher weapons, the, the higher percentage some weapons will have. 
because now a smaller community is playing it. You would bring back a good portion of people and get the nihilisticness probably under control if you just buffed you the weapons back up and said we're going to take a back seat to nerfing for a bit. Because you basically you're you're basically saying all you care about are the nerfs. But I think the uh the faction update might help them. It'll give them an idea of how people feel about things. Although it'll be blow, real bad when they find out that 90% of the people pick the evil faction. But yeah. And then this game... If the new one's way better than this, I'll like it. Not saying I'll play it. Like I said, you're gonna have to get me to 3,000 before I play it. I like how he's like, <laughs> Not that my second playthrough was any better because with all the mods I was running, none of the story made any sense. Second Lieutenant Mira, 200. It is the Bane Blade! You are in command. I'm all that's left, my lord. That damn gun. We don't have the numbers to make an assault. And as you might have seen, it's shooting down all our. Engaging Warp Spider! Ah! A warp spider! But at least you get to hook up with some blood rape. Was he actually saying that during the scene? Because what mod did you download <laughs> that has him being autistic? ...to cleanse an entire bridge in the end sequence, and given their history of kleptomania, I'm shocked they didn't steal anything. Hippity hoppity, where the fuck is my property? You're gonna hate the final boss fight with Mimroth, who's obsessed with becoming ascended for reasons that I won't spoil, but again, this game is about the game play, not about the story. Damn it, I had something for this. Uh, something, something, crack his way. It's not about the plotting, it's about the purging. The... Yeah, that, that sounds about right for this, this, uh, not world, uh, what do I call it? This entire, like, game franchise? Or this it. Before franchise? Before I go, I wanted to mention as of me recording this video right now, it is separate. That's not a badger! How dare dollars on steam this is in no way a sponsored video i'm pretty sure six relic, years ago the that was that seven dollars don't even exist anymore of course sega still exists but i don't think relic is around anymore so from an unbiased position if you have seven dollars on you that you're not going to spend on your next meal i highly recommend that you pick it up as long as you don't let a bunch of turbo nerds drown you in lore that takes lifetimes to understand warhammer 40k is fascinating so again seven but yeah that's the, what i was saying i like I feel like part of what makes Warhammer so enjoyable is and was its lore. That's the only reason that it has drawn me in a little bit. 